says. Therefore, gives us one man sin enter into the world, and that to sin, and so death spread to all men, because all sin. I want to ask you a question. And that question you can only answer yourself before a holy God. If your life were to end today or tomorrow, God forbid, I'm not wishing for anyone to die. It will certainly will someday because we're all going to die. And we cannot escape it. What reason will you give the living God that you should spend eternity in heaven? So that answer, you can only one, or you can answer the question. Now, if you have always assumed that being a good person or not killing anybody were the requirements for heaven, that is not a correct assumption. The Bible says that we have all sinned. God has declared us sinners before you and I were born. And since we are sinners before a holy God, we are guilty and condemned. See, it's not the drunkenness, lying, stealing, adultery, fornication that makes us guilty. God has declared, has, even before you and I were born, that we are sinners. Sin separates us from God, according to the Bible. Sin brings spiritual death to everyone. And it also brings physical death to everyone. We all know that we're going to die one day. But that's not the question. The question is, where are you going to end up once you die? Because that will be your final destination. Would it be heaven? Or would it be hell? Jesus said, do not fear those who kill the body but unable to kill the soul. But rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body and hell. See, sin is a transgression of God's law. Or breaking God's law. The law of God, the Ten Commandments, makes us guilty because we have sinned against a holy God. The Bible also says in Romans 6.23 for the wage of the sin is death but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Spiritual death is a paycheck for every man's slavery to sin. That's why God takes sin so serious that He hates it. He hates it so much about because of how it has turned out man to be. I remember my life when I was walking alone, far away 
from this amazing God that I know today from scripture. I used to be a drunkard, a liar, a thief, a drug addict, an adulterer, fornicator, lustful. And I didn't realize that all this sin were an offense to God. But I thank Him because He chose to rescue a sinner like me and to forgive me of my sin. God's Word says the fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, effeminate, homosexuals, thieves, Reading, drunkards, revilers, swindlers will not have part in heaven. You might say, well, I'm not a drunkard. I'm not a liar. I'm not a thief. Well, I can tell you this. God knows your heart. He knows everything that is in there. He knows all the sins that lie tucked in in the corner of your heart. He knows your thoughts. He knows your words even before you say them. Or you might say, well, I'm a good person. Well, is that really true? Have you lied? Have you lust? Have you hated somebody? Jesus said, and he considered hatred to be murder and lusting to be adultery. You only know where you stand in before this holy God. And since God has declared us sinners way before, we are in great danger. We need someone, someone who is perfect, someone who is righteous, holy, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. God says in Isaiah 53 that He crushed Him for you and me. What are you going to do? Jesus even said, what if you gain the whole world and if you lose your soul? What was the profit of? What if you're rich? What if you're the most wealthy person in this world but your soul is lost? That would be a shame. Lose it. Well, I got great news for you. God is not looking for people who feel about themselves that they're good, righteous. God is looking for sinners like me. God is looking for drunkards, for drug addicts, adulterers. God sees the loneliness in your heart. He says, He says that you have tried and tried and nothing works. That's because you want to do it on your own. You can't change on your own. Only God can change you if you repent. Walk away from sin. Change your mind. Walk away from darkness and come to the living God. This living God loves you and He cares for you. He's a God that probably doesn't get tired of talking to you.
John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son to whosoever believe in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Well, you're going to have to answer Him. Bible also says in Hebrews says this for this reason we must pay much closer attention to what we have heard so that we do not drift away from it for the words spoken through angels prove and on earth in every transgression and disobedience receive a just and penalty. How will you escape it if we neglect so great salvation? After it was first spoken through the Lord, it was confirmed to us by those who heard. Don't neglect it. Just think about it. The Bible says that those people who will spend eternity in hell will be completely separated away from God. So if I were you, I will listen to this book. Because God has the final word. <laughs>